Hello, Peter Richardson here from CES, and I'm with uh, Dong Yao from TCL Ray Neo. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for doing this for us. So we're talking about some of the new AR glasses. Actually, I think one of them is an existing product, right? And you have a new product to, to yes. talk about. So maybe you can just quickly talk us through the yeah. different products you have and the benefits that Definitely. you see for these. Yes. So for many AR glasses that we are able to see on the market, they have kind of like dark shades because uh, that was based on the micro OLED technology um, and the brightness was not that high. So it requires it to be thin. Um, but we think for augmented reality, true augmented reality, you should be able to see a clear image and text overlaying in front of your actual eyes. So it requires the lenses to be transparent, but at the same time has high brightness. Um, that's the technology called micro LED. So Rainio has spent three years uh, into the research on this solution and we developed the world's first micro LED AR glasses that's able to do binocular full color display in 3D. That's it, Rayneo X2. Um, so you can see here, uh, we have two projectors here. Just imagine a normal, you know, projector, how big it is. We managed to minimize the size into here. So you can see this is like smaller than my finger. So um, roughly what sort of size is it like? I think you said 1.5 cc it's, or something? It's less than 1 cc. So yeah, around 0.5 cc. Wow, really? Okay. Yeah, it's the world's, one of the world's most compact uh, AI projectors. Um, and besides uh, the display breakthrough, we also have very powerful features incorporated. Um, it can do live translations of up to eight languages in wow. real time. So for example, if I speak Chinese to you, um, and you put it on, you'll be able to see English subtitles showing up in real time. Wow. Also, you can do, you know, like Spanish to French, Japanese to Korean. Yes. Um, and uh, apart from that, we have a 3D navigation feature. So we really have a headache with 2D small phones. Like when we're going on the map, especially in a complex environment, uh, it's really hard to find our way. But with uh, the uh, AR glasses display, you know, we have 3D arrow showing in front of your eyes. So you can just directly follow the, the, the arrow and it will guide you your way. It just feel like you're in a video game, you know, like walking with all these, all these hints. Um, so that's super helpful in terms of indoor navigation. Um, but we also wanted to create some new use cases for users uh, that only AR glasses will be able to do. So we have added an a uh, 3D avatar into the glasses. Um, it's a very cute, very, uh, uh, it's a very, uh, I would say, intuitive and interactive enemy. Her name is Mickey. Um, so if you'll be able to interact with her. She has her own character. Uh, even with if we give her the same prompt, she gives different answers every time. So for example, let's say, uh, dance for me. Sometimes she does dance. After a couple of times, you say, you know, I don't do this to everyone. <laughs> That's so funny. You feel like you are just talking with an actual human being. So this is the um, future that uh, Rayneo 4C for AR glasses to be a killer app. Um, that's a virtual company uh, that we wanted to create for users when even when they're alone and they wanted to have the feeling of connection. You know, there is always a virtual friend for you. Currently, this is just the enemy, but in the future, we can project real people's face and their image into like, you know, very vivid 3D. Um, and of course we need to, you know, seek the approval from the actual person to use their image, you know, but that's how the technology can do for you. Just for example, if I, um, I'm a fan of like a pop star and I cannot get their tickets, you know, I just, I can just get them dance for me and sing for me on the glasses. And, also, um, there's another idea that uh, our CEO has mentioned, like what if you have a beloved one who has passed away and you wanted to see them one more time? Mm -hmm. So there you go, AR glasses, bring them back to you. You can talk with them when you miss them. So yeah, that's the real value and uh, the, the potential that we wanted to create for users.
So this one it has very powerful features. It's powered by Snapdragon's XR2 platform, uh, and its battery lasts over three hours for basic functions. But we know this is not perfect. Uh, its uh, ID design it's still a little bit big, a little bit heavy, even though it's already you know the the the, the first one that you can find. So we kept improving. Our, our, our design and we spend a lot of resources to try to cut it, uh, the weight. There you go. We oh. have the second generation this year at CES. Mm. Um, this is called the Rainio X2 Lite. Compared to the first gen Rainio X2, you can see how it's improved. The frame is much more slimmer and sleeky, sleek, um, and it looks much closer to an actual pair of normal sun uh, eyeglasses. So people want to be weird. Weight difference yes, the and the weight is cut to about half. Okay. This one is uh, around uh, 120 grams. This one only around 60 grams. So it's about okay. two and one ounces. So very light, very light. This is also one of the lightest uh, full color 3D AR glasses so far that you can find. Like even for the micro OLED glasses that needs to be uh, wired. Um, it's around like 70 or so, but this one, it's a standalone. It has its own platform, its own chipset, um, and its own battery, um, and also two projectors, you know, only 60 grams. Um, so compared to this one, another difference is that this is powered by the latest generation of the Snapdragon AR1 platform. Um, so the AR1 platform, it has much stronger AI capabilities. Um, that's why we're also able to incorporate our own version of GPT on this. Oh. It's called Rainio AI. Yeah, okay. so the AI assistant, you know, be able to give you answers for, you know, daily questions. Um, we'll also remind you of your, of your uh, schedules uh, with the, uh, the actual like alert hovering in front of your eyes. Uh, also, um, it can control the menu so you can navigate the menu with the assistant. Um, so that's what we think the combo of AI and AR would be very powerful and would be super convenient for people's daily life in the future. So using voice control rather than... Yes, using, using voice AI. control, exactly. Yeah, but you know, to, to, to navigate the, the glasses, we also have a ring. Um, okay. A ring, that's for more discreet navigation. If you're in a meeting, you don't want people to notice that you're, you know, you know controlling the glasses. You can just put the ring on your, on your, on your, on your hand, you know. All right. Yes. Uh, when, so this one is available already? Right? Yes. So this one, we already sold it in China um, in Q4 of 2023. And within the first hour of the launch, it was sold out. Um, and we're going to bring it to global market. Um, very soon next month, it will be available on Indiegogo. Okay. And this one, this is planned for Q3 this year. So and the price, are you able to share pricing details? Not yet. Not we'll yet. come out very soon. You can okay. stay tuned to our official websites. Yeah. All right. That's very interesting. Thank, Thank, you, so Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.